they were talking trash tonight at the Baltimore City Council meeting. Leaders want to ban plastic bags to cut back on litter. Council passed a version of the bill late last year, but the mayor pulled the plug. ABC 2 News' Catherine Hawley has the details tonight. I'm introducing tonight the plastic bag ban. Councilman Bill Henry thinks the seventh time may be the charm. He introduced a bill at tonight's Baltimore City Council meeting that would ban most retailers from giving customers plastic bags for carry out food or at checkout. My hope is that we can work out a win win here because at the end of the day, the city would prefer that there be no disposable bags so that we don't have to clean them up. And the retailers would prefer not to have to pay out of pocket. For them. He thinks everyone will be better off if shoppers switched to reusable bags. Last year, council passed a bag ban bill that had started its legislative life as a five cent fee. The mayor vetoed the ordinance because of the last minute change. I'm not asking for a quick hearing. Um, I'm making sure that there will be plenty of opportunity for all stakeholders to uh, get their comments and concerns in. Those in favor of the plastic bag ban say in the end, the environment will benefit. While those opposed feel like it will just create more costs for businesses and inconvenience customers. At Apples and Oranges Fresh Market in East Baltimore, they fear banishing plastic bags will turn customers away. If we don't have no bags to put our groceries and food, then no one wants to come here. So that will most definitely reduce sales and, you know, so this won't be good. While the ban would save the store money, workers say customers might not have the funds to buy reusable bags, and shoppers have no interest in trying to carry paper bags home. Most of the people around here, they walk. They walk in with their canes. They walk in with their walker. They're walking. The bill that was introduced tonight can still be added to and changed, and there are several steps it needs to go through before it can become law. Catherine Hawley, ABC Two News. They've been going out for a long time, and the city council wants to hear what you think of the possible plastic bag ban, whether it's negative or positive. You should let your council pe people there, know. And there are efforts also at the state level to impose a ban across the whole state of Maryland. Councilman Henry is confident something's going to be passed in the General Assembly here or in our city. We put much more details about the proposed ban on our website at abc2news.com.